Cool. All right. Let's hop right in. So we're going to be playing around with Bento today. Oh. Dang it. Okay, we're still good. Um, cool. So let's go to... I always forget Bento. Now, there we go. Cool. Okay, so we are going to start the free trial. Um, I'm kind of just trying it out. I have convert kit going. Let me see actually. Oops. There we go. Uh, so convertkit.com. Let's log in. I can't remember if I still have it going. What is it? Grow. Maybe this one. Chatter. Vim for VS Code. Uh, let me think. If we go to subscribers, grow subscribers. November, I probably shouldn't show that, but November 30th. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's still going. If we go to him for vscode.com. So what I was thinking I could, yeah, here we go. This is, this is through ConvertKit. Okay, so I guess we could say switching from another platform. How many customers users do you have? Uh, in the last 90 days, I've had 44, so like a hundred or less. Okay. I like this button too. All right. Let's create a trial. You're about to bark. No limits trial. Okay. Um, I don't want to show you my password, so give me one sec as I do this in another tab. Oh my gosh, I can't use a free email address provider. Um, what do I send this one from? Let me take a look. Hopefully I'm not going to show anything. Expose anything here. Domains. Email. I guess it sends from joe at joeprivate.com. That's not my mailing address. That's the uh, convert kit. Okay. Uh... I guess what we'll do is I'm going to do like an email address that I would have to set up, I think. So hopefully this works. What email address is a park domain and cannot be used? Email address failed bentos. Okay, let's try the one that theoretically is being used by ConvertKit. Uh, okay. Save the password. Okay, well, I definitely not gonna show my credit card on screen, so let me move that back. And give me one sec. Okay, I got my wallet, it's in the other room. Um, I would say this is a time, like this is an example where I'm like, I wish I had a virtual credit card. Like, you know, and like, I think Mercury and Ramp can both do it where you'll just create a card and it's valid for X amount of days. Um, because with these kinds of things, like I have to go to my calendar and add an event of like, make sure to cancel that trial period. Um, if, you know, if I, and literally just trying something out and don't plan to 
uh, continue unless things go differently. But typically, that's kind of what happens. So let me do this in another tab real quick. Um, so give me one sec. And then we'll get all signed up. Oh, cool, the coupon's right there. All right. Okay. Um, real quick, actually, in another tab, I'm going to, again, do the 30-day, like, hey, don't forget to cancel this. Um, and send an email notification so I don't forget. Okay, cool. So, Joe, credit. Uh, time zone, you'd think that it would detect it automatically. Arizona, because we don't observe daylight savings. Um, profile picture. Um, I think I have it somewhere, headshot. Okay, there we go. Typical. Cool, cool, cool. What site will be working on? M for VS Code. M for VS Code. And see, let's see. Users are subscribed by default. Yes, please ensure you have a privacy policy in terms of service. Um, I don't know if I have that, but I guess I can do it later. Enabled, probably enable data protection. Create site and continue setup. Okay. Um, Congrats. You just got through all the fiddly parts of onboarding, which, uh, yeah, there was a couple of steps there. Sorry about that. I'll try and shorten it moving forward. But uh, again, thank you so much for taking the leap and trying out Bento. Um, depending why you're here, you're either here because you want to do email marketing, maybe you want to do ad attribution, or. Okay, so install tracking. So this site uses Astro. So we're probably going to go with JS. Bento show chat. So I'm a little confused on this. Do I, maybe these are just examples. Read our docs to fully understand. Okay, let's. I guess we'll try it. So here's what I'll do. Um, can't remember if this is Gatsby or uh, Astro. So we're just gonna do it all in the browser so that I don't have to like, just easier for everybody. Um, yeah, it is a Gatsby site, okay. So do code spaces, we'll create a code space. Okay, what does this button do? Oh, that's fancy. I've never seen that before. Okay. I'm wondering though, because one of the things that, you know, Jesse and I were talking about was uh, looking at the flow. So if I leave this page, we'll be back. Yeah, okay, it's all there still. So. Okay, flows, he said, what did he say? When you make a new flow, there's a tutorial in the sidebar. I'm wondering though, 
support subscribers. Oh, okay, so eventually we'll get there. Maybe, I mean, maybe it's worth doing this. Okay. Um, we'll create a new branch. We'll say git, git checkout dash b. We'll say add bento. Um, and then I added a script tag, or somebody, we were adding a script tag recently. I think it, here we go. Um, so we'll probably follow the same approach. Uh, this was actually a friend of mine who was helping me do some stuff. So app tracking, so we'll do, um, we'll create a new component. We'll call it uh, bento. TSX and I'm just going to copy all of this and I'm going to I don't like that you have to like like uh, code spaces are isolated so like unless you have the setting sync on you've got to install your extensions every time but anyways okay so we're coming here uh, and we'll call this We'll say used for email marketing with Bento. Uh, Bento. Oh, dude, I really need to put on the setting sync. So let me see. Back up and setting sync. Okay, before I do that, actually. Ah! Let me keyboard settings, key bindings. Wait, how is that keyboard? There we go. Sorry, I gotta do this real quick. This one. Copy that. Come on, do that. Copy, there we go. Of course, that's... why is that not pasting? There we go. Oh, gosh dang it. Okay, well, I don't want to distract too much from that. So, setting sync. Okay. Oh, it's got to restart it. Let's come back. All right. That's fine. Oh, I f oh, I forgot that it's got that. Okay. Well. Oh, I feel like that made it worse. But anyways. Oh my gosh, these are very old settings. Okay. Come back, copy this, delete all this. Uh, or sorry, we don't want this div. We basically want everything inside helmet. Okay, let's format. Why is Prettier not formatting that? Maybe because there's typos? Uh, we might have to put it in like back ticks. Yes. Okay. So let me see. Hopefully that's valid. There we go. Okay, window that add event listener, blah blah blah. Looks good to me. Um and then let me just double check where am I importing app tracking? Oh, in my layout, okay. So we'll do the same thing. We'll do Bento.
and Bento. Bento. There we go. Cool. Okay, and then I guess I should open up a package JSON and just run it real quick. The downside of like having this Gatsby site is like half the time I can't even run it. So if we do yarn start, we'll see if we can even get it to run. Uh, but in the meantime, read our docs. Okay, I like that that opens in a new tab. Okay, import subscribers. So I guess I would do that from ConvertKit if I was fully gone. If we add a flow, he said there's a tutorial somewhere. Oh, here we go. Oh man. This is intense. Uh, <laughs> I guess we can watch this. Welcome to a quick tutorial of Bento's flow product. In this video, we'll be going over the basics of flows, how to set them up, how to trigger them, all right, let me pause the music. First up, let's talk about the sidebar. The sidebar is where you're going to be interacting. How do I change the quality? Uh, editing the nodes themselves. Uh, and, and this contains there we all go. different nodes that you can use in a flow. Now, well, this is a 20 minute tutorial. Oh, man. Parts. The first part is a trigger. These are at the top, underneath where it's at. I mean, it's got the timestamps, which is nice. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a lot. I just. It, I feel like there should almost be like a. Uh, like, here's a. 30 second overview and then like if you want to go dig deeper you know um what are triggers actions delays can i skip ahead there we go does that chosen what event you want to trigger your flow on oh sorry i see okay this is the playlist these are not timestamps or chapters for that video the first video is a 23 minute overview. I almost feel like the overview should be like a minute. And then if I want to go deeper, you know, um, I kind of just want to play around though, you know, like go small screen. Okay. So maybe delete that. I'm guessing that I probably want like a form completed. And then we want to send an e update the user just subscribed. Probably if they add a form, then we want to add a tag. Do I have to like connect these? Yeah. Okay. So when they complete the form, add the tag is what I would kind of do. Um, and then probably add them to like a sequence of, oh, I guess I would send them an email that's like, here's the free preview. Okay, and then after that, I would do something like, add them to an email sequence that would be like a soft sell, you know, like where you, whatever that's called, the marketing. So that's kind of what I would do, okay. Pending approval. Yeah, I mean, I guess I have so many questions. Like which, f like what form, like how do I, I guess like how do I connect the dots with the form, you know what I mean? But I guess I would figure that out. Um, and then adding a tag. This would be like um, free exercises or something wait but how do I add that will this just add it or do I have to like select it or do I have to go somewhere else to select it I guess I have to go back free exercises let me try let's hit save does that just work like does this Okay, um, I don't really know. I guess I'm 
like here it shows it seems like the tags maybe you have to go create the tag so i'll call this um free email preview flow i don't know um Okay, how do I get out of here? Leave editor. There we go. So, how do I get to tags, maybe? Find or create a tag. There we go. Let's create a tag. Uh, let's say, like, free exercises. Decay visitor views. I wish there was, like, a tool tip that would show. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Okay, so free exercises is added. So if I go back to flows, go back to my flow, Close this, come in here, edit this. Amazing. Okay. Um, sending an email. Is this design mode? Interesting. Okay. Plain text. Uh, let's say like free preview. And then let's just try creating it just for fun. Here you go. Your free preview. I guess you can't do attachments, I don't think. So I think I'd have to link it. it can be downloaded here. And then say link. Can you do a link, Anchor? You can't do a link? Can you not do a link? I guess it's plain text. Okay, I don't know, we'll say HTTP in for vscode.com slash free download, you know, something like that. Um, preview. Oh, I guess because it's plain text, so I guess I would have to change. Uh, uh, where do I... I don't know where I'd go from here. Save changes, maybe? Okay. Probably stop here in a second. Just want to get a overview. So if I go leave editor, drag and drop, probably. Edit fancy. Okay. What do I do from here? Uh, to activate drag and drop, please make sure you've adapted. Is that a typo with Stripo? No, that's probably not a typo. What is Stripo? Oh, I have never heard of Stripo. Thought that would be Stripe. <laughs> this is a confusing name. Uh, what am I doing wrong? Um. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. All right, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna leave editor. Let's make an, how do I make a new email? Um, and try again. Drag and drop mode. Okay, edit email. Uh, Do I drag it down here? What am I supposed to do? Uh, to activate the drag and drop function of the editor, please make sure you've adapted your, I don't have any HTML code. I don't know. Okay, I'll have to maybe ask support about that. Um, anyways, we'll just pretend that the plain text one is that one? So I think it's right, right? Okay. And then if I were to add to a sequence, which I don't have set up, I could create a new sequence. Hello world. Oh, I'd have to tag it. Okay. Okay, so you really got to kind of like set all this up. 
kind of before you can do the flow. And the dogs are barking. Okay. Uh, cool. Well, that I think that's kind of all I wanted to play around with today. Um, we'll leave the editor and yeah. Cool. Sweet. Well, thanks for playing around with Benta with me. Um, keep an eye out for more videos.